reporting. Uh, joining us now, Senator Ed Markey. He's a Democrat. He serves on the Foreign Relations Committee. He joined in the questioning of Secretary Pompeo. You were there, uh, uh, Senator. Thanks so much for joining us. And let me get your quick reaction. You heard Secretary Pompeo. He was very adamant that he wouldn't reveal what the president said to Putin during that private one-on-one -on -one meeting with only translators present. Uh, why should that be a secret if the president was only expressing U.S. policy? Well, um, sadly, Wolf, um, at the end of the day, we now know more about the substance of the conversations between Donald Trump and Michael Cohen than we know about the substance of the conversation between Donald Trump and Vladimir Putin. Uh, that's the dilemma, that the American people have a right to know what the president is doing in their name in the Nash in protecting the national security of our country. And it's very clear after the testimony of Secretary Pompeo today uh, that he's not in a position to give us absolute assurances about what did transpire uh, in that conversation, that extensive uh, more than two hour conversation that took place between Putin and Trump. And that at the end of the day, um, that's at the heart of this uh, question because the same thing happened with President Kim in North Korea uh, and Trump, they too had private conversations that we still don't know the full substance of. And the American people are entitled to know what the leader of the free world is doing, is saying, is committing um, to other nations in the name of the American people. Secretary uh, Pompeo also assured your, your committee just a little while ago that the U.S. won't recognize Russia's an annexation of Crimea. He says he personally told the Russians they will face uh, what he described as severe consequences if they interfere in Ukraine or Crimea. Again, the president has not specifically said that. We haven't heard a, a bold statement like that from the president. So whose word do you believe here? Uh, I actually don't think we know uh, what President Trump believes. I don't think that Secretary Pompeo knows what President Trump believes. Uh, the president... Uh, is basically in a position where in many of these foreign policy issues he's just making it up as he's going along and then leaving it to people like Secretary Pompeo to come and to try to explain situations that are inherently uh, unknowable on his part, ambiguous at best, uh, but dangerous in terms of the creation of foreign policy and the message that we're sending to our friends and our enemies around the world. So. Uh, I don't think any of us are in a position to know who knows anything, but if I had to choose one, I would choose Secretary Pompeo. The White House, uh, we have learned, uh, Caitlin Collins uh, broke the story, uh, our White House correspondent, uh, that the White House will no longer be providing summaries of the president's phone calls with the foreign leaders. Uh, Secretary Pompeo seemed to be arguing that readouts of top-level meetings uh, would actually make it harder to achieve progress in serious negotiations. What do you make of that? Uh, obviously, um, the president is moving to a bunker mentality. We saw this during the Nixon years. Uh, it's somebody who doesn't trust the press, but he also doesn't trust the American people. And increasingly, he doesn't trust his own staff. He doesn't trust the people uh, who he has hired to do these jobs. So I think that uh, there's a lot of pressure on the president. We understand that. Uh, uh, Michael Cohen uh, had four million files that were taken uh, by federal prosecutors. Uh, he holds the keys to the kingdom. Uh, and I think that ultimately uh, in this situation, we're seeing a deep paranoia uh, that is being uh, manifested by the president. Uh, unfortunately, it's showing up in national security areas that go to the heart of the protection of the American people. Uh, and he's more con concerned with the protection of Donald Trump. As, as you know, the White House announced today that the president is postponing his second meeting with Vladimir Putin until after uh, the uh, Mueller investigation wraps up. The national security advisor, John Bolton, said the meeting would take place next year after what he described as the witch hunt uh, that Mueller is engaged in uh, will wrap up. Uh, what, do you, what do you make of that decision? What do you think went into that decision? Uh, I think he realized um, that he's created a mess from his first summit with uh, Putin. Uh, it's very clear that the American people wanted a confrontation 
and not a conversation with Putin. Uh, the American people wanted him to, to, to draw the line on many important national security issues. He did not do that. Uh, and I think that he now realizes that if he uh, once again had a meeting where it was obvious that Putin uh, was the winner in that conversation, that it would seriously hurt him uh, and hurt the Republican chances uh, this fall and that he was advised politically uh, that it was a huge disaster for him, for the Republican Party, and to just push off the next summit uh, into the next year. Senator Markey, thanks so much for joining us. No, glad to do so.